Well, this afternoon we had a bit of sunshine. Well, quite a bit of sunshine, actually, and that despite that, our high temperatures only warmed up into the middle to upper 50s for most spots. And for tonight, with that clear sky in place all across the region, temperatures will be able to drop off pretty well into the lower 30s by tomorrow morning. Right now, we're already in the lower 40s for a few locations. Still holding on to milder temperatures to the south, 49 degrees for Mariana, 46 degrees for us here in Dothan. By tomorrow morning, most locations will be at or below freezing. The coldest spot should be Eufaula and Troy in the lower 30s, 31 degrees for Enterprise, right at freezing for us here in Dothan. Going into the rest of Thursday evening, we will hold on to the 40s early on with that mainly clear sky. We're uh, picking up on a little bit of cloud cover on Max Sky there, but that should stay mostly outside of our area for tonight. Then heading into the later evening hours, we will be in the mid 30s by the 10 o'clock hour, and then even colder as we do head into the overnight Friday morning. It is going to be pretty bitter to start the day as the winds do calm down as well. That's also one of the reasons why our temperatures will be able to cool off pretty quickly for tonight. And then for the weekend, temperatures will be a little bit warmer, but that will come at the cost of a rain and a rain system moving through some storms possible as well. If you're heading to the Appalachians, point north points northward into the uh, mid-Atlantic states, we could actually run into some snow. We're going to be traveling in that direction this weekend, but then next week, as that system clears out. We will be looking at pretty seasonal conditions all across the southeast as high pressure builds back into the region, just as we have right now. That's why that cold air has been funneling down, but that's going to be pumping some moisture in ahead of our next storm system, which is organizing over New Mexico right now, hour by hour going through tonight. That will organize well off to our west for us. We'll have that clear sky first thing tomorrow morning. We'll have that clear sky as well. And that will last in through the afternoon as well. You'll notice some cloud cover way off in the distance in the horizon, but that will begin to increase as we head into Saturday. We'll have an easterly to southeasterly wind bringing some moisture off the Gulf of Mexico. And then there's the storm system approaching us. There's the time stamp as well. Five o'clock in the evening. Rain will just be a uh, steadier rain rather. We'll just be on our doorstep. We'll have a few showers moving through the wire grass throughout the day on Saturday, but the most of the heaviest rain will move through the area going into the overnight to early Sunday. For tonight, we'll have those temperatures cooling off quickly, mid 30s to lower 30s overnight. First thing tomorrow morning, we'll start off right around freezing for most locations. And then in the afternoon, despite the mainly sunny sky, those high temperatures will just warm up into the upper 50s for most of us. So you'll need that light jacket on and off throughout the day. There's that cloud cover then increasing as we head into early. Saturday morning temperatures in the mid 40s. The afternoon hours should be a little bit warmer thanks to a more southerly flow in the wind. For tonight, 32 degrees for that low temperature. Then for tomorrow, 58 degrees, a mostly sunny and cool day. Some spots could stay a little bit cooler than that, especially if you start out a bit colder, say more like 30 or even 29 degrees. Not out of the question for some locations in the wiregrass and then those rain chances will be with us on and off through the day on Saturday, mostly in the evening hours. Hours and into the early morning hours on Sunday, tapering off, then through the day, just a few lingering showers. And the next week, Ben, we'll have seasonal conditions with pretty much full sun for the middle part of the week. Yeah, I'm not a fan of seasonal conditions. Though. Oh, sorry about that.